hi all welcome back to my channel once again today we'll see a very nice concept on dockers how do we configure jmeter on dockers and then how do we have the docker containers on a kubernetes right so i'll go very basic so that even if you uh, do not know anything about kubernetes or dockers you can configure these things um, so my intention behind this video is go very basic start from the zero and let you know the steps that will help you in configuring your jmeter on kubernetes right so let's begin if you see i have uh, i'm just telling you about the prerequisites that you need to take care before you start this right so you should have docker docker compose and kubernetes installed in your uh, whichever machine or environment you are going to do this you should have these all things already present right so to cross check you can always do a help and see if things are up and running in your environment or not right take some time okay and same thing you can do with kubectl as well just to see everything is up and running in your system so let's take step number one prerequisites docker docker compose and kubectl kubernetes running on the machine step two create some folders like this and inside each of these just have the inside the jmeter base or jmeter master or jmeter slave have the docker files all three of them have one one docker file and you already know how we construct a docker file so i'll just show you what is there inside this docker file so that it is easy for you to configure you can get a copy from github a lot of people have exposed their docker files so it is a very simple one which downloads jmeter 5.2 and then it, it unzips and then put it in the corresponding folder so we'll see this once we go inside our uh, once we bring up the whole environment right so this is uh, you know the docker files that you need to put inside jmeter base jmeter and jmeter slave master and base will have same docker file slave is little different because it uses base as the uh, you know basis for bringing up the docker images right so once you have these docker files there are two yaml files that you need to build so first yaml file if you look at it the docker compose dot ml so this will basically help you to bring up your images right bring up the master and then the slave and then the base images that you need then we have jmeter kubernetes deploy file this file will use it later in the video or in the session but I have just put in a very basic YAML file. If you see, you can find out that I'm creating two pods of jmeter slave, two pods. So the replica count is two. And I'm using the image, the Docker image that I'm going to create. So just understand this, right? First thing, you just have to link the Docker image that you want to put inside the pod so using this image the docker container will be brought up inside the pod and here it is you know the limit of resources and the requested resource right? so we are looking for 512 mb of ram and half a cpu so requested so at the beginning it will have one fourth the cpu core and then uh, it, it it will be limited at half the cpu core right so that's all about it let's go and 
see how do we do it i'll take you to through the whole process creating it cleaning it up everything right so let's start with the docker i'm going to build the docker first let's go here right Docker Compose at build. Okay, it takes some time to build the Docker image because it uh, downloads the respective uh, you know, dependencies and then it builds the Docker image. We'll just wait for that to happen. Perfect. So it is done. Now I'm going to use the Docker Compose. Okay. And I'll also bring up the containers. So Docker Compose will basically bring up your master and slave. Base is already built. Okay. Take some time to download this stuff and then get it configured. So master is built now. Uh, it is the slave which is getting built now. Okay, perfect. okay so post uh, this is executed this code I, i'll probably give you all the docker file contents in the description itself so you can copy it from there uh, so once you are done with building the images just go and see if the images are up, up, up and running and post that will switch over to the kubernetes part of it right we'll try to create a namespace uh, we'll try to create a pod inside the namespace for our container and we'll go inside the pod or the container and then we'll see how do we execute JMeter from there and then we'll do a cleanup as well we'll remove the container we'll remove the namespace and then we'll uh, kind of remove the docker images also so that you are clean again right so here you can say docker images just to check whether your images are up and running as required okay now you can see that your images on kubectl slave base and master all three of them are up and running so next uh, we go into creating the uh, namespace so uh, even my kubectl is also configured so I'm just going to say create namespace jmeter right so I'm creating a namespace with the name jmeter you can see that if it is created or not kubectl create namespace right the time it comes up go here and as I have told you already 
I have already kept a YAML file for the deployment is what I'm trying to say here is it is so easy to configure so I just wanted to create this video because most of the videos that I watched or uh, stuff that I read it is made complex you cannot understand where is the linkage or how do you bring it up but it is just simple very simple I mean you bring up your docker image and link that docker image to the uh, pod deployment on Kubernetes and bring up the pod that's it right so you see that jmeter namespace is already created I'm going to create a pod okay let me copy this I'll show this YAML file again uh, just to make sure you understand the link right so let's go here this is the yaml file i'm talking about this is the whole project there is nothing else so let's go inside yeah so you see the con content of this yaml file there is nothing in there we are just saying my the resources i'm going to bring uh, use to bring up this pod is this limit is this request is this and then you're, you're providing a linkage to the image which will be used the container image which will be or the docker image which will be used to bring up the pod right as simple as that and then you fire this command it brings up your pod right now you can do a kubectl get pod okay. I think I have not changed the namespace yet so it might throw error copy that to set up to set the current namespace to jmeter which we have created recently yeah I think it is set so we are getting Two pods which are just created 15 seconds and 40 seconds back, and it, I think the the creation is not complete yet. It's still going on. Let's see. Let me let's wait for the pods to come up. No, it's still not there. You can meanwhile you can check kubectl get current. So yeah, there it is. The deployment is Jemeter's hyphen slave. Let's do a quick pod. Let's see if our pod. So, yeah, it's up and running now. So the next step is go inside the container. So you can use this command. I'll probably copy paste all of this in the description so that you can uh, make use of it. So you can use this command. Use it. See. See to get inside the running pod and rest is like you you know it i have all other videos which says about jmeter uh, you know distributed testing so use those concepts make those changes you are already inside you have two pods and you can go inside both of them you can make that connection and then you know execute it uh, in master slave setup for both the pods it's very you know ground level stuff you can make it complex once you understand the basics you can always make it complex so this is, i'm already inside this pod and i'm already inside the jmeter folder so if you want to see the uh, files inside jmeter folder you can always see all, all those things are uh, you know already created so go inside and then see your jmeter how do you start it probably you'll have to run it in uh, CLI mode and then you connect to the other IP address and then you use two machines to run your JMeter script right so now I'll, I'll, I'll uh, you know tell you some stuff to uh, clean up the environment that we have created so for cleaning it up uh, we have uh, two run running pods so uh, but we cannot you know uh, delete the pods as is because if you delete the deployment is still there so it will uh, 
keep bringing it up again and again. So first we need to uh, delete the deployment and then the pods will be killed as uh, you know automatically. Then uh, okay, uh, just deleting the deployment now. Okay, let's slave that is right now. Okay, so it, it is as simple as that configuring your uh, JMeter on uh, on Kubernetes. Uh, so a couple of files and you can set it up all together with your plugins for JMeter to use a pod as your uh, load injector or load generator, right? Okay sure why it is okay it is slaves my mistake okay it's taking a little bit of time let it delete everything clean it up for me okay i'm done now uh, we'll go to get namespaces will delete the namespace also uh, we'll remove the containers uh, and we, we then remove the images everything right cube cpl delete namespace and then we it is is deleted so that's all in this video uh, probably I've given you enough information to use a pod uh, as your load generator injector uh, as I said you can make it complicated but this is what you should understand to make it complicated uh, you can you know start, start doing things on top of this thank you